So, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Sunday. Um, it is Sunday the uh, 22nd. And uh, I got some big news for you guys. Um, there is a troll that has been bothering me for a while, and I've had a little bit of trouble trying to figure it out. Uh, but this person just kicked things up to the next level, you guys. He's, uh, he's posting my personal information now. And um, I'd like your help, if you can. Um, the person is, like, a fucking, like, he's, he's, he's seriously a troubled individual. He's like a fucking uh, uh, squirrely, you know, beady-eyed little mole type person who you'd expect to go and, like, you know, bomb a stadium somewhere. Um, he's shown me his AR-15 on his camera before. And his little kitten, you guys. His, his little precious kitten. Um, so it's like, how do I know? How do I know this guy, you know? Um, why, why is it that he's fucking trolling me? And the answer is, I don't know, you guys. I just don't even know. Um, this person, like, gave me a fan package a long time ago, right? And he's telling me about how much, you know, financial strife he's in. I'm like, hey, dude, you know, uh, don't send me anything if you can't send me anything. If you don't have the resource to do so, then just don't send me anything, you know? I'm not trying to, like, fucking make my audience suffer here. Uh, you should be able to fucking appreciate that, right? But no, you guys. Um, he, uh... He comes on, like, he donates, and then, like, uh, a week later or something, he tells me how much fucking trouble he's in. He's like, hey, just relax, you know? Uh, so he gets in a donating war one night with one of my uh, other patrons, and I'm like, hey, dude, hold, hold off. I know you have trouble. You keep telling me you have trouble, motherfucker. Um, so don't do it. And uh, I guess... What happened was he went off and got butt hurt somewhere because um, he didn't tell me about it. <laughs> didn't tell me shit about that. Now, how do I know these are the two two of the same people? Um, well, I will I will explain, you guys. I will explain. So, uh, what happened? I woke up this morning and all of a sudden, boom! My my Twitter notifications are just lit up, you guys. Just lit up like ten notifications all of a sudden. And what is it? Oh, it's these two trolls. It's these two, like, fuckers who are just like, Oh, look, um, <laughs> you guys, uh, yeah, let's see here. Who's this crispy guy? I have no idea. But I, I know that this is just somebody who's just coming at me from all these different angles and all these different sock accounts. Because the guy I'm talking about He's a fucking, like, he's either an idiot or he's just, like, a paranoid delusional. And he makes new accounts, like, every other week. Um, but let, let's let's get into this a little bit further. Um, who is this Joseph Pete guy? I don't know. It's like, his donation, uh, my donation cost me over 70 in fees from your bank. Oh, my gosh. Why did you do that? Did you fucking go overdrawn, maybe? <laughs> did you do two... Separate overdrawn transactions for $30 a piece? Maybe you shouldn't be donating like that. And you weren't even half thankful. I uh, Like, I try to be grateful, guys. <laughs> like, if somebody's doing this, uh, it's from, like, you know... Uh, it, it's, it's from a place where they're not listening to what I'm saying, you know? And if I wasn't grateful one night or I didn't notice or something, you know... I would be sorry, but I, I get the feeling that this whole situation is fishy. Uh, I don't even get the satisfaction of being thankful for the donation. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, all these, all these uh, shits, you know, all these, all these fucking um, statements are pretty troublesome. You're like, huh, man, if I did fudge this guy over, maybe, maybe it was me who was doing the wrongdoing. Who is this guy? Who is Joseph Pete? Oh, he makes jokes. Please send any fan mail to this fucking uh, address, New Jersey, or my address, my fucking uh, Hotmail address. Look at that. <laughs> He's just going to, um, yeah, post my email address as his own. So that's pretty special. 
So now who is this guy? Who is this this person who just keeps um, fucking with me? Well, here's one of his accounts, you guys. Um, he probably doesn't know that even after you delete your uh, Facebook account, you still have at least whatever um, the person was talking about in uh, different conversations prior. So here's one of his accounts, Joseph Badger Strebent. Now, why do I think it's this guy? Well, uh, you remember me telling you about this guy showing me his kittens and shit? Let's look at some of Joseph Pete's pictures. Oh, goddamn. Where, where have I seen this fucking kitten before? Where do I know this little motherfucker? Well, guess what? You see that fucking thigh that kitten's uh, fucking rubbing up against? That's this motherfucker. Like, every 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 time he deletes a Facebook account, well, he, he's got, like, you know, 50 images or videos of him cuddling with this little fucker. Right? Just loves it. Just loves it. And here's the sack of shit himself, you guys. Talking to this motherfucker, you know he's crazy. Like, I, I, I was talking to him for a while, and I'm like, hey, our conversations are sounding a little glib. Because every time he could, he's like, oh, we got to do something. It's time for you and me to do a project. It's like, hey, buddy, I don't have enough time to do my own fucking projects. And here this motherfucker is, like, just coming with, up with all kinds of flights of fancy. You know, he's not, like, fucking right in the head, you guys. And I'm sorry to draw attention to this, but um, this guy is going way over the fucking line. And uh, I've had it. Uh, the That night when he uh, made his little donation war or whatever with one of my other uh, moderators, and, and I told him to slow down, uh, I guess like a couple nights later, he came up to Bliss, one of my head moderators, and he was like, Oh, you guys don't, won't even take my donations now. It's like, make up your fucking mind. You know? Like, I didn't want to take his donations because of all the previous bitching he had been doing. And now look at this. Like, a month after the fact, he's going to, like, hardcore troll me plus misrepresent my information. Like, this motherfucker should be put in jail. <laughs> well, he should be put into a mental institution and then jail. Um, because what a dickhead, you guys. Like, seriously? You, you, you go, you can troll me as much as you want, but this is going over the fucking line. You got it? <laughs> you got it, you sack of shit? So, also, you guys, um, here's one of his active accounts. Uh, here's the dude uh, that I just showed you um, on that Twitter account. He's like wearing a fucking wig, or he got his hair uh, dyed or something. Like I said, he's, he's like, you know, <laughs> he's fucking, uh, yeah, crazy, crazy douchebag. Um, but I want you guys to know that the last things we said to each other were all pretty much, you know, on, on, the, uh, on the cool, you know. Uh, but here's, here's one of the originals. Like, I just want you guys to know that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm zoning in on the right guy. Oh, look at it, look at it. Look at Notos. Look at Notos. That's his, that's his cat, you guys. Loves his fucking cat. Oh, there he is taking a hit. So, yeah, it changes his appearance uh, a little bit, apparently. Um, but, yeah, this shit, this shit's all, all fucking bogus, you know? Um, let me show you the last things that we said to each other. Oh, great, he's got a nutsack on his fucking wall. <laughs> Yeah, serious douchebag. Let me show you the last conversations. Oh, he deleted all of his photos, by the way. <laughs> you see this? No more photos. No more photos. Well, look all these. Look at all these other posts that you still have with your fucking little kitten picture. Oh my goodness. So let's look at this conversation that we had. That that was like me being so unappreciative. Um. So we'll start like I don't know, May the second. I don't know. We were still on good terms then, I guess. Uh, so he's talking to me, sorry, I'm getting ready for work, just trying to put it in my day, your, team, your roommates seem fascinating, but I think you have to be there. Like, you guys, you, you ever have awkward conversation, and you're like, god damn, you know, this is, this is the worst, most plotting, like, uh, 
like poorly paced, like irrelevant conversation I've ever had. And that's every conversation you ever have with the person. It's like, are you trying to talk to me? Then, you know, do you have a point of talking to me? Then if so, what is it? And um, yeah, listen to this. So he, he contacts me like really early in the morning. He's like, oh, I got a joke about my roommate. It's like, really, dude. Uh, I was just up till three in the fucking morning. And you're going to wake me up with an anecdote about your roommate? <laughs> well, the best of day to you. Uh, okay, then. Sorry that sounds rude, but I had to get out of the shower to hear that. You guys, like, let, let me just tell you. When, when you're, like, a small and up-and-coming YouTuber and uh, your phone notifications are on, you know, it's like, you might want to know who's contacting you. It might be, like, Matt Zion or something. Um, so I, I fucking rush out of the shower to hear this anecdote about his fucking roommate. And it's like, hey, dude, I'm sorry if that sounds rude. Um, uh, but I had to hear that. My notifications are on for everyone. Oh, Jesus, man, that would be terrifying. And I'm like, what's terrifying? Having millions of notifications. Well, people don't hit me up all the time. But as a nobody with somebody's who, or as a nobody with somebody's who contact me through socials, I have to be available. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make my point heard here. You know, it's like, I'm going to be there to talk for you, dude, to talk to you, dude, but I'm not going to be there for you to hear your bullshit. <laughs> you know, I'm a busy dude. Don't tell me stories about your fucking roommate. Um, so keep these messages to a minimum unless you have something you want to talk about. I'm like, see, listen to this. I'll make time for you, bro, but your roommate's hygiene, so I really don't have the time. What, what, what do you want from me? Do you want me to, like, fucking, uh, just be your personal lapdog 24-7? Eat a dick! Fuck you and your roommates. <laughs> Especially you, though, prick. Um, see, here, here, uh, I appreciate what we're doing. Do you hear that, you fucking motherfucker? The last thing I said to you was I appreciate it. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. You're the worst fucking human being I've... Well, you're the second worst. My brother's pretty bad. But you're you're a piece of trash. But you, do you really have the money for that kind of stuff, though? Like, he, he, was, he was donating. This was me contacting him during this thing where he was donating too much money. I'm like, hey, dude, slow down. You just got through telling me that you're having financial troubles... And it's like, I couldn't decide on a game for the PC. This is a fair, a far more interesting way of spending the money. Consider it, consider it a less conspicuous fan package. Like I said, you guys, he already sent me a package before. Like, if this is somebody who doesn't have the resources to send package, or send a package, I tell you, right the, right the fuck away if that's the case. You know? But there you have it, you, you guys. That's the last thing. Those are the last words I said to this motherfucker. And now all of a sudden, he is behind my back posting my personal information places. You're horrible. You're a terrible fucking human being. Uh, I hope you and your cats die in a fire. Um, yeah, man. This is, this is fucking horrible. And uh, I should honestly call the police, you know? <laughs> like... This guy was telling me how he's going to move closer, you guys. He's like, he's in this area, and he had my address, you know? So it's like, watch out. Watch out who you talk to online, and make sure it's not this motherfucker, because uh, he'll fuck you. <laughs> he won't even give you any reasons, and he will try to fuck with your life. What a sack of shit.